Happy good day, scholars. So we are now in module three, still in introduction to online opportunities with the topic branding and niching. Okay. So uh, I have to discuss to you the guide to buyer's persona. Okay, so if you have you need to have focus, clear targeting and messaging, of course. Kahit naman sa ano, dapat you should have a clear target of your market. Okay. So, why persona matters to marketing? So, buyer's personas allow you to map out and create highly targeted content. Okay. Allows you to personalize or target your marketing for different segments of your audience. So, with this, no, you, uh, with the buyer's persona, actually, uh, to give you uh, uh, an advanced idea of what is a buyer's persona, this is an imaginary target market of yours, no? This, this is an imaginary uh, target niche of yours, no? Kung ano tong uh, possible na uh, uh, persona ng isang personality, no? Ng isang market mo. So, it will, this will allow you to map out and create highly targeted. Ibig sabihin, uh, yes, meron ka ng target, but this will become a highly targeted uh, uh, customers of yours para ma-relate mo siya sa iyong uh, magiging content. Okay, so there's a question here na how well do you really know your ideal customers for business owners and for you freelancers? o nga naman. Ano mo nga naman talaga makikilala ang ideal customers mo? Okay, so you won't be able to position what you're selling to meet customers' needs without knowing who they are. Of course. Okay, so Paano ka nga naman makakapagbenta ng isang produkto na uh, produkto na pang like pang senior citizen no? na later on you discover na pwede rin pala siya sa mga young, sa mga young and middle uh, young and adult young adult at saka sa middle class uh, adulthood okay so uh, medyo at the end Medyo confused ka ngayon, pang senior citizen ba talaga, pang young adult, or pang teenager. Okay? So, hindi mo maposition yung iyong products, no? Yung, yung, yung campaign mo, hindi mo maposition ng maayos kasi wala kang buyer's persona. Excuse me. So, for buyer persona, again, how well do you understand their interests and needs? Very important. Kasi later on, you can develop a product or you at least know your content kasi alam mo yung mga interest and needs nila. How well do you really know your ideal customers? Do you know how old they are? Yeah, like I said, pang senior citizen ba? Pang adult? Pang young adult? So, confused. Hindi mo alam kung sino ba talaga yung tinatarget mo. Where they went to school? Of course, baka may mga product ka na pang school kung nag school sila for teenagers. Whether they have kids? yung product mo, pwede ba sa mga anak nila? Okay? What a day in the life looks like. Okay. So, how to create a buyer's persona? Of course, I'm gonna show you in the next in the next slide. So, who? will fill out your persona's background, demographics, and identifiers. Okay. So, you, you need to have a name for your persona. Kailangan meron. Okay. So, with the name, with the name uh, itself, malalaman mo na kung babae or lalaki, female or male. But now, we will call our persona Sally. Okay, so for the background, i-maximize ko lang ha. Maximize ko lang kung types. Ayun lang talaga. Okay, <coughs> for the background, Sally is the head of human resources, worked at the same company for 10 years, worked her work her way to HR associate from a HR associate married with two children okay so you to yung imaginary background mo with Sally okay yung demographics naman niya uh, female excuse, excuse female age 30 to, to, to 45 at least meron kang range ng age niya okay so it in, it doesn't it doesn't have to be an, the exact age at least meron andun yung range mo so, ang income niya is $140,000 in a year and suburban. So, ano yung identifiers mo naman? Calm, demeanor, 
probably has an assistant screening calls asked to receive collateral ano ba? Uh, mailed printed okay so that's the who no that's the who so what filling your personal goal charge followed by what your business can do to help them achieve their goals and overcome their challenges okay so ito na no so <coughs> yung goals ni Sally ay keep employees happy and uh, turn over low support legal and finance term. of course kasi HR manager siya so ito yung goal niya okay ito yung possible goal niya sa employee ano naman yung mga challenges ni Sally getting everything done with a small staff rolling out changes to the entire company so this is a real exam example challenges ng isang HR right so what can we do so on your part ano yung pwede magawa na? make it easy to manage all employees data in one place integrate with legal and finance team system okay so ito yung possible solutions doon sa challenges ni Sally based on her goal okay so how uh, again marketing messaging so you can fill in the marketing messaging you want to use for this particular buyer okay how should you describe your offering to this persona what's the elevator pitch so class no this is all about content no this is all about content on your marketing uh, <coughs> on your marketing effort no that's why you are identifying or you're creating your persona para alam mo yung magiging atake mo sa pag uh, build mo ng strategy and campaign okay so marketing messaging integrated hr database management of course kasi yun is yun ang pinaka problem niya no challenges niya Elevator pitch, we give you an, an intuitive database that integrates with your existing software and platform. So this is this example is an is an software company, no? So parang yun ng offer niya kay Sally. And lifetime training to help new employees get up to speed quickly. Okay. By identifying your persona, ito nakaka nakaka ano ka, nakaka craft ka ng possible solutions mo. Okay? So, that's all for the buyer's persona. We'll proceed to the next. Okay, we now proceed to branding and niching. Okay, so, uh, what, what are our course objective for the branding and niching? So, one, you have understand what branding and brand identi identity are. Understand how branding can benefit professionals. Introduction to, fas to fascinate using the brand as fascination assessment, creating a tagline for your brand, this is important, and using the marketing pillars. Okay, so what worries you as a freelancer? Well, especially for those of you here who are the uh, first time being a freelancer, uh, and for those of you here now you will be deciding that you will pursue freelancing. So what are your, what worries, what are your worries? Okay. So the common challenges of freelancers are employability despite the lack of a college degree. Of course, in freelancing, kasi no, hindi hindi uh, one percent lang or not less than one percent pa no? yung client po tatanungin kung college graduate ka ba. Hindi yon ang importante sa kanila. Ang importante is you're gonna help them solve their problems at yung pinapagawa nila is kaya mong duet. The skills ang labanan dito. Competition from other freelancers. This is very high. Most especially for um, the popular platforms out there. Okay? So, napakataas nito. That's why you need to upgrade and continue learning to improve your skills. Not enough online experience. Ito din, no? Uh, sometimes, this is bias, no? Paano naman yung mga walang experience? Paano sila magkaka-experience at makakapag-work? Okay, there are a lot of strategies that you can apply here, no? But, this is somewhat biased as I see it, no? So, pero, we can twist the situation and in return, kahit wala ka experience, your employer can, will, or will, can hire you. Not enough skills, okay? So, medyo alanganin tayo dito, no? Kasi, ang labanan dito is skills. But, I believe you can still learn a job uh, without uh, 
or not having enough skills no with a great strategy out there job stability or security okay so of course alam naman natin as freelancer clients come and go employee protection okay so wala tayo niyan so ang ang uh, ang usapan lang dito when you do the job I'll pay you what is required or what is your based on your proposal losing a client so we can't avoid we can't avoid this okay by losing a client time difference okay so if you have a client in if you have client in the western so magkaiba ang time zone so yun lang medyo mag adjust lang ng content with your time and personal challenges so what is a brand Branding is the overall experience that your customers perceive about your company. A promise of quality, consistency, competency, and reliability. So overall, these qualities makes up a brand. Okay. So it's sabi rito no, it's an overall experience. Yun yung uh, <coughs> para bang nakatatak na sa yon na pag nakita ka, ah, ito, okay, ito, quality ang trabaho na ito. Okay. So, you will create your brand later on para this brand will really speak of you. Okay. So, it is the reason clients avail your service instead of someone else or not avail at all. Okay. It could be positive and negative, no? Yung brand na makikreate mo. It will be, it will have a, a positive or a negative impact on your clients. So components of a brand, of course, you have your logo or make sure that your logo represents your brand or essence. Okay, so very critical ito, no? Uh, you know naman, no? Yung mga popular brand natin ngayon have their different logos and in time, nagpapalit din ng mga logos nila. Pero when you look at their logo, alam mo na na itong, na kung anong ino-offer at kung anong produkto nila at kung masarap ba siya o hindi. Okay. So wording, know the language of your audience. Brand identity includes the colors, images, and other visual elements. Okay. Colors and images very important. Say when you see the Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola logo, no? So alam mo soft drinks, Pepsi at the same time, Nike, okay. Um Chanel and so forth and so on. Okay. So yun yung kanilang brand identity. Uh, um, very important on colors and images. Okay? So, brand promise, this is the client's expectation. Okay, so, say BDO, uh, ano, ang, ano ang promise ng BDO? I forgot. <coughs> Metro Bank, you are in good hands. Uh, yung mga ganun ba? So, ikinakabit yan doon sa kanilang brand. Okay? So, that will stick in the minds of your on the minds of the customers that when you go to Metrobank, no, so they are in good hands. Okay. So brand differentiation. Stand out from the competition. Okay, so uh when pag mag create ng logo, pwedeng pwede namang medyo mas malapit no, pero hindi naman kasing tulad ng mga uh, popular na brand diyan, no? So or maybe you could you could create a, a different design that will speak of your brand or that will speak of you no so no problem naman with design napakadami naman siya no so iwasan ang mangga yeah start from your company name and logo okay to be short example rumpo stilt skin okay so with this no with the domain kailangan yung madaling basahin iwasan ang mga numbers no mga underscore etc para when you create your domain uh, it will closely related to your business name or your brand name. Preferably the name of your product or message. Use keywords, use keyword planner for competitor check. Okay? So, yun. Okay. Do not, do not make these mistakes. Choose among other company logo concepts. If you're not confident in creating visuals, hire a good graphic designer. Siyempre naman. Okay? So, with the graphic designer, you can uh, express to her or to him, kung ano yung gusto mo, ano yung concept mo, and that the graphic designer will will craft the design of your logo. Okay. <coughs> you can create a text-based logo with your branding. 
Okay, pwede din. Pwede naman ding text lang or yung signature mo lang, no, as your, uh, uh, or, or your brand. Okay. So, logo does not explain, it identifies. Okay. So, usually, yung mga logo naman kasi natin, parang, minsan, ano lang siya, three elements of, uh, of an e of uh, graphic design lang may line may isang shape at may text no so uh, yun lang parang nagiging identifier mo lang siya na itong brand na to ah ito kay Nike kagaya ng Nike isang check lang alam mo na agad na Nike siya or kay Nike siya easy does it use your brand logo color hex code communicate the mood you want your clients to feel be consistent in all your materials learn the psychology of colors I'm gonna share it to you, class, no, yung psychology of colors later. Marami yan sa internet. Okay. Freelancer brand voice. Ipat ko lang. Here. Okay. Here. Okay. So, you have here your character persona. Okay. Tone, language, and purpose. So, as a freelancer, ito yung magiging basis mo ng brand voice mo. Of course, you are selling your skills. So, meron ka ditong character and persona. So, friendly ka, warm, inspiring, playful, authoritative, authoritative, or professional. So, yung language mo, complex, savvy, insider, serious. So, depende. No? Depende. So, this will make up your brand voice later on. So, tone, personal, humble, clinical, honest, direct, or scientific. Purpose, engage, educate. So, depende sa services na in-offer mo with this purpose. Okay? If you are YouTuber, so you entertain. Okay? If you are on a training and on a uh, tutorial services, technical services, you can uh, purpose here is to educate. A brand's voice, a brand's tone of voice should be distinctive, recognizable, and unique. Why is tone of voice important? It's an expression of the people behind the brand, of course. Okay, so when people see your logo or your brand, okay, so alam nilang na ikaw na yan. Familiar na sila, magiging familiar na sila sa iyo. Kahit na hindi mo na ipakita yung buong itsura mo, right? It builds trust, okay? It sets you apart from the rest, of course. It can be used to influence and persuade. So, as a freelancer, you should be able to create your brand voice, no? So, yeah. So, it will set you apart from, from the rest. So, this will help you compete with with other freelancers, no? Kahit na bago-baguhan ka pa lang, when you're able to develop your brand, eh, mas madali kang matandaan as, at makakapag-build ka din ng trust with your clients. Okay. The Golden Circle by si Simon Sinek. So, the orange inside is the how, the how, what stands you apart from your competition. And the blue outside is what, the products and service you provide. And the why, your core purpose or your belief. Okay, so this is the guide of your uh, the garden circle. So in one or two sentences, give me an idea about freelancer service. What makes you different? Okay, this in the sense will be uh, share it na lang after my discussion. Okay, so here's an, here's an example. I'm Arkela Asa. I hope businesses grow by managing their social media presence and promoting their business on social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn to generate leads and sales. This is very direct. Kung ano ba yung skills niya, paano kanya matutulungan, and ano yung pwede niyang maging results. Okay. So, stand out or don't bother? Are you fascinating when you communicate? Okay. So, I think we are on the next slide right now. So, do you have any questions? Okay, I think we are on the next topic now about brand fascination. So, are you fascinating when you communicate? Okay, and by the way, fascinating is this is what other people uh, ano yung qualities mo na naka, ano yung mga qualities mo at kung ano yung meron sila meron ka na na-attract na mo yung ibang tao or yung how how they see you no? 
So, yun ang fascinating or fascination. Okay. So, the more you intelligently observe people's online style, the more quickly you can fascinate them with your own. Of course. Okay. So, malaking chance talaga yan. You become more worthy of attention. So, fascination is an intense focus when you fascinate your listener. They're more likely to connect with you and remember you. Okay. So, yeah. They will be get attracted with all your who you stand, your brand, your uh, your ano, your presentation and everything. And, yeah. The end result will really, your customer will remember you. The Fascinate Personality Test by Sally Houchin. The test, uh, so, you will do this test because you're gonna use the result here on your next test class, no? So, explain ko lang din muna siya. Then, after the my presentation, then you're gonna do the activity. The test gives you your brand's fascination advantage. The five adjectives you can use to describe your brand. Okay, so this will aid you or help you uh, form your brand no? with the five adjectives. The four marketing pillars you need to observe whenever marketing a product or service. This will be your guide, a very good guide for your marketing, uh, these four marketing pillars. No? Later on, you will discover it. Don't sa brand fascination natin by Sally Hogshead. Okay, so here we go. Seven fascination advantage. These are your possible results. Pwede ka isa dito. Pwede ka maging prestige, power, depende dun sa result ng um, uh, exam. No? Yung parang short question and answer mo no? with Sally Hogshed. So, yung innovation is the language of creativity, relationship for passion, confidence for power, prestige for excellence, uh, sorry, excellence for prestige, stability for trust, listening for mystique, and details for alert. Okay. So, actually, class, ang fascination advantage ko ay alert. That's why on my social media, it's always green. Okay? Now, what makes you fascinating? How the world sees you? Okay. What is your highest value? What makes you different? Okay. So, ito yung mga big questions that you have to really provide and identify it within yourself. So, earn your audience's attention and you'll earn their respect. Okay, of course. So, if uh, if uh, clients will really uh, fascinate about you, then they will respect you. It follows naman din, no? Okay. So, your personality brand, your highest value, how are you different? from the rest or from um, from among the rest okay so your highest value is what you do best kung ano ba yung uh, pinaka gift mo or pinaka talent mo no uh, that will be that will benefit others okay. so highest the pinnacle of who you are and what makes you exceptional okay that's the highest no this thing how you are different value your specialized ability to deliver above and beyond what is expected okay so so when you are done with your brand fascination result later on ma identify mo na kung anong fascination advantage mo you have here a guide in creating your brand item so sabi dito ang formula would be adjective plus noun of your highest value so i uh, will provide you the list of adjective later on and plus yung noun na pwede nyo magamit to create or to craft your brand item okay so there's an example here for Arkel again I'm Arkel I'm an e-commerce advocate and a social media marketer and advertiser at my highest value I provide expressive so itong mga naka orange na word words na yan class no ito yung result ng kanyang brand fascination so we will also create this one but and it will be based on the result of your brand fascination. Okay? So, when someone reads your message, they should hear your voice. Okay? Not only your voice. They, they will be able to understand what is in your heart that you are willing to help them. Okay? Yeah. 
So why do cert why do certain messages captivate while seemingly equivalent deserving ones never get the attention? So depende kasi ito class din no. Talagang kailangan ikakraft mo din mabuti ang message mo. That would really uh, uh, captivate, that would really attract your customers or your clients. So uh, wag niyong kakalimutan na you have to include your brand fascination objectives kasi it will really help uh, you um, attract them or uh, fascinate, them, fascinate them about you. Fascinate, um, fascinate them about you. Hallmarks of a fascinating brand. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. Create, uh, starting from here, creates advocates. Your fascinating brand provo provokes strong and immediate emotional reactions inside conversations. Yes, of course, if they are fascinated with you, uh, they would easily be, uh, they would easily uh, propose a conversation, forces competitors to realign around it, and becomes cultural shorthand for a specific set of actions value. Okay, so provoke strong and immediate emotional reactions. Do we provoke strong and immediate emotional reactions? What types of reactions do we, do we want to excite? Okay. Create advocates. What would it take to make someone to pay for a t-shirt bearing your logo? Of course. What would it take for people to be willing to stand in line for hours to purchase our product? So your product must be uh, has a um, great uh, advantage over the other. Kasi kung matibay, quality, maganda, e pipilahan ka talaga. So what would it take for our product to become so beloved that it never ever went on sale. Galing, no? So, yeah, kahit di mag-sell, talagang pinipilahan pa rin yung product. Okay. Provoke strong and immediate emotional instruction, this Jollibee. Okay, so, meron tayong Jollibee issue right now, but still, Jollibee is still a Jollibee. Okay. See, this is Apple Company, pinipilahan yung bagong release ng phone, no? Okay, and, yeah. So, become a cultural shorthand. Do we embody a specific set of values or actions? How could we turn our unique attributes into emblems of our beliefs? Okay. So, ito yung composition ng become a cultural shorthand. Okay. So, we could be able to craft it on our vision and mission. No? So, yes. Uh, in so many ways. Insights conversation. Are we inciting conversation? What opportunities do we create for people to connect with with one another? Does your message create debate? Okay. So anyway, it is still under inside conversation. There, your customers will really still engage with you, no? And dealt with a very educational uh, engagement. Okay. Forces competitors to realign around it. Could people describe themselves by comparing you to your competition? How could you become irreplaceable for the audience? Impossible to exactly replace or duplicate. Okay, so hindi ka na pwedeng palitan. Pagating sa ganitong brand, ikaw lang yung hahanapin. Okay, at hindi ka rin pwedeng i-duplicate. Okay, so will your services be fascinating or forgotten? In a competitive environment, the most fascinating option always wins. Sally Hodgson, of course. Okay, kasi kompleto yung buong uh, description ng pagkatao mo, kumbaga. Okay. Right? So, your brand's advantage is passion. This is an example of uh, brand's fascination advantage, no? We have your, uh, uh, this is an example, yes, the example, passion. Like, example, passion. Ang adjectives niya are expressive, optimistic, warm, sensory, and social. Okay. Right? So you have here an example in your slides. You can check it later. So for passion brands, use the four pillars to support every action in their business and marketing. Also, by the way, guys, no, when you're crafting the About Me page or About You, do not forget to include the adjectives. Okay? Right. So who with how use the five senses? Put last before logic, create a strong and immediate response. So, ito yung four pillars. No? Okay. The seven fascination advantage. Okay. okay, so I will be sharing to you the, the seven fascination advantage. 
but uh, I will just touch the very important on each of the seven uh, seven fascination advantage instead okay you have that in your slide so just please please feel free to check on it on each column no kasi naka-table yan siya para at least ma-craft yung mabuti ko yung inyong brand ma-relate niyo tong brand fascination niyo sa inyong brand okay so for innovation idea adjectives uh, sa innovation brand fascination if this is your result so this will be your adjectives forward thinking entrepreneurial bold surprising visionary uh, by the way no when you answer the brand fascination profile answer it with all honesty again uh, pag-isipan mabuti hindi naman nagmamadali ang bawat questions so yung result mo will be genuine okay so yung sample tagline with uh, innovation is providing bold digital innovation okay. bold okay andun yung bold na adjectives no okay so yun na lagi mo siyang i-include doon kasi yun yung adjectives mo for passion uh, you have expressive optimistic sensory warm social as your adjectives at ang sample tagla niya would be creating socially expressive solutions ayun na naman yung expressive so ito yun no class yung sinasabi kong four columns na please uh, check it na lang with your slides no we cannot discuss it thoroughly but I can answer your question later if you have any one in prestige adjectives niya will be ambitious results oriented respected aspirational elite okay aspirational and elite so let's check the tagline tagline architect built for the elite ayun elite yung dinamit niya okay for power Adjectives would be assertive, goal-oriented, decisive, purposeful, opinionated. For the tagline, where decisive actions happen. Ayan. So, yun siya, decisive. You can actually combine three of those adjectives. O kung kaya naman, you can uh, put them up. No problem. Huh? Basta, huwag naman siya masyadong mahaba. For trust, stable, dependable, familiar, comforting, predictable ang adjectives naman niya. So, let's check the sample tagline. Dependable service that you can count on. Ayun. So, dependable. Dependable. Alright. So, for mystic, observant, calculated, private, curiosity, provoking, sub substantive. Tagline will be calculated. It works. Wow. No? Simple, no? Pero... It has a uh, deep meaning, you know, applicable to all. So, alert. So, this is my uh, brand fascination. Right? Alert, brand fascination advantage. So, for alert, organized, detailed, efficient, precise, and methodological. Actually, totoo lahat to. Okay? So, but may mga challenges akong experience with all of this. But, yeah, it is true. So, Sample tagline, method, uh, efficient service, detailed results. Yeah, detailed, efficient. Si pinagsama niya. So, ako naman is methodical solutions. Yun naman ang sa akin. I created one. Okay? So, along with this, uh, you will have an activity and you will have a task um, with all of the discussions that I have. So, that will be a separate discussion for your class. Okay, class. So, good luck.